Hey guys, so today I'm putting in a second e-stop onto my motion simulator. So I've got one right now, but it only pauses the motors, whereas I want a full power kill. Now, what's the difference between the two? So with the full power kill, generally the motion simulator is going to go straight to the ground, whereas my existing e-stop just constructs the microcontroller to stop moving the arms around. Why would I need that? Well, because of issues. Any particular issues that might come up, the microcontroller just goes haywire, one thing leads to another, and... Pain occurs. I will be using this heavy-duty toggle switch with a red flip cover. When I've determined that I no longer want to be moving around in Motion Simulator and want to stop immediately, flip that down and the entire platform should fall to the ground. My intention is to put it right to the left of that secondary monitor. I will be utilizing this 22 gauge 4 strand security cable from the chassis to the existing rocker relay in series so that either of the switches will kill the relay that's controlling all of the AC servos. Now the cable run is going to be approximately 25 feet long, go through around 50 to 70 zip ties, and take about one to two hours to perform. Let's begin. <laughs> 